Gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 570. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's about to enjoy a brown Thursday wombat. Hooray for brown Thursday? You know what that is? Is that when I take a dump every day, all day? I've had a half price dumps? What? It doesn't even make sense. I don't know. Thank God you're talking a lot of nonsense, so I don't have to explain that, the joke anymore. That was basically, yes, it was, I was talking a lot of nonsense. You saved me. Yep, no problem. I, I, was, I could have just asked you to explain it to me, but what's Too the point in that? We've moved yep. on. Exactly. Okay. Shipwreck's here. <laughs> I did. I am here. <laughs> Everybody have a happy... He did it. Uh, <laughs> I did it. I'm here. I, uh, yeah, I nearly, I nearly passed out taking a poop this week. So that was good. Right. I mean, that's the same thing that you explained it off the air to me, and it was very similar to my experience or one of my experiences. Yeah. So I, I woke up in the middle of the night uh, just like desperately needing to, to take a poop, which isn't a normal thing for me. Like I, I'm usually able to not poop throughout the night. And I so I got up and first of all, I, I sometimes I sleepwalk, so I might have been sleepwalking a little bit as well. Sleep because poop. I, yeah, I was on my way to sleep poop. <laughs> and so I got out of bed and I started like walking out of our bedroom. And Mrs. Shipwreck was like, Where are you going? This is like at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Right. And I'm like, Oh, I, I need to poop. Oh. <laughs> and then I, then I was like, I guess I can use our toilet. And, oh, because you were walked out of the the like the it, your pole. Yeah, like I was the, walking out into the rest of our house, not she, into our like our. So you might you were probably sleepwalking bathroom. at that point. Yeah. So then then I'm like, oh, I should I should change directions here and, and go to where the toilet is at. Either that, or you were expecting a monster poop, and you just needed to get out of blast range. So much it, it shipwreck was some, wasn't there. Right. Something was going on. In my yeah. Head. So yeah. The, then I tried real hard to poop. <laughs> sure. Did you slap really, your knees really hard? <laughs> you try the slap knees technique. Right. Then it, it ended up with me trying so hard that I was sitting on the floor, uh, calling out for, for Mr. Shipwreck to bring me a cool, cool, <laughs> a cool cloth. <laughs> what does that sound like? And what were the exact words you used? <laughs> Give me your best imp- impression of yourself. I can't because I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> okay, take a breath. This Let's all take a bad breath before I started talking about it. Um, <laughs> you be you, and I'll be your wife. Yeah, yeah. So it was basically just like <laughs> Gretchen. Yes. Gretchen. Yes. Could you, could you, <laughs> no. could you bring me a cool washcloth? A, a what? <laughs> a cool washcloth. Oh. <laughs> Who's watching? And you're the on the f- you're on the it, floor at this point. I, I'm on the yeah. I'm on the bathroom floor, I, like I'm face determined. down on the floor, or get no, off no, the like... floor. Someone's <laughs> watching our cool wash bra. <laughs> no, I, I'm just like laying like laying on the floor because I'm not at this point. I'm not quite sure if I want to throw up or not, or mm. pass out, mm-hmm. or I want my body wanted something to happen. Did she right. get you the washcloth? She did. She got me the washcloth. Okay, that's I, good. I, was there poop? Did poop happen or not happen? I, poop happened the next day. Poop happened the next day. Okay, yeah. so you didn't so, have a. You was were it like? Un- was it like? Was it like an asteroid solid piece it, of like rock? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it definitely was. It, there's not like an emoji for it. <laughs> like a, well, there is. It's a rock. Uh, <laughs> you should drink more water. I think is the. Isn't that isn't that what that means? Hmm. Sure. More water. Fiber. Metamucil. Fiber. Fiber. How about or that you could have the metamucil like drink because that would have water in it, wouldn't it? So that's what like about killing if I was having with... a, a lovely zombie dust beer at the moment. That's, that's gonna dry you out. Yeah. Hmm. It could have been could have been what happened. Maybe nice. too much beer. 
Could could be. But although that, I find was, if I drink too much beer, my poop comes out like beer, liquidy yeah. and gross. That's not the first time that's happened to you, though, Ship. Right? I've I've been on that floor before. Right from poop from pooping failure. I thought uh, it was also a pee failure. That was a pee. That was a pee. That was, was the pee was situation. Mm. Where that was I went down. For, I went down on like there was no laying down on that one. That was I went down. Oh yeah, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. I when I told my doctor about Drink like more that, water. That that happens. My advice as a doctor. <clears throat> as a doctor, my, when I told my doctor about those situations, you know, where you basically just like fainting a little bit, um, she said like try to get down to the floor as quick as possible when you think it's happening. Yeah, get a nice cool cloth. Yeah, and and yell out for a cloth. Right. <laughs> that's what she said. You've done those things. You've mastered it. <laughs> nice. Well, that's a great Thanksgiving story. <laughs> Yes, and it's a good tip for our listeners if they haven't been in that situation. Yes, just stop, drop, and roll, just like a fire. If you're pass out, you're about to pass out from pooping, get low. <laughs> so, did everybody have a, th- a happy Thanksgiving? Yeah, I I had oral surgery the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Why? Oh, that, that that's a good move. Why would you this schedule that? life a life tip from Womp? <laughs> well, if you're like me and you know you're gonna have four days off of work, yeah, you get your oral surgery done. You know, at times that are convenient for work, not times that are convenient no, for your life. Oh, that's bad it's planning. It's not. It was fine. It was My fine. wife though felt really bad for me. Yeah, you know, which is very nice because I was in a lot of pain, especially the day of the sur- like the day after the surgery. I was just a big like sloppy mess of blood and pain yeah did she bring you a cool washcloth she did not but the next day because she found out that my mother had made the decision to not make mashed potatoes she went out the morning of thanksgiving and bought an eight pound bag of potatoes and proceeded to make me eight pounds of mashed potatoes you eight pounds me eight pounds like literally no she's like no i'm like i don't know who else is gonna want mashed potatoes she's like you can't eat much so i'll make you mashed potatoes well, and instead of just potatoes. like buying like the microwave mashed potatoes for 4.99 which i would have right. been fine with she had to make them from scratch wow. and buy and make eight pounds of mashed potatoes did they put the turkey in a blender for you no oh. i i had a little bit of turkey i could i could like cut it into little pieces and eat it right but uh, yeah, my face was all swollen. It was a good time. Nice. So, mm-hmm. uh, so that, did you do any Black good. Friday shopping? You might as well go through the hall now. Yeah, no, I, uh, what did I do? I went with, Sabrina was my guest of the day. Uh, Elliot had went to karate camp. No, she's so your she's, daughter. Yes. Yes, right. my daughter okay. and I. You got spent, confused there for a second. My daughter and I spent Black Friday together. Just Sabrina and I. So we went and we went to Walmart and didn't find anything. And then we went and got smoothies. Those were not on sale. So you bought nothing is what you're saying. I bought slippers at Target. Right. And what else did we buy? I feel like she the got- The games. I'm asking you. I want to know about the games. We got slime making uh, ingredients. <clears throat> Those are not Black games. Friend. I got a menorah that looks like a moose. That's religious paraphernalia. Also, not a game. <laughs> no, I didn't get any games. On you Black did Friday. get a game. What game did I get on Black Friday? Assassin's Creed. I got that on Cyber Monday. What, well, dude? You, are you made the holidays me? right. You said you think Black I was going to like have a ne- another section for Cyber Monday? I don't know. What do you think this is? ASL. <laughs> So you bought Assassin's Creed. I bought Assassin's Creed. Creed. It took five minutes to get Wombat to tell me that he bought Assassin's Creed. Something I already knew. I, you, would, you would think that I was driving you nuts on purpose, but uh, I don't do that. Stop it. So you bought Assassin's <laughs> Creed. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that was. And I renewed. I did that Game Pass thing. Oh, yeah. I did that, too. That reminded yeah. me. All three of us did Ship, that. what'd you get? I did the Game Pass thing. Yes. I got. I mean, I, I bought a TV. You um, did? Which one did you get? I, I the one that everybody's going to tell me is the wrong one, right? The, was it, is it the wrong one? Sixty-five inch TCL four series, right? Correct. That's what I got. Yeah, it that's was a good TV. Cheap. It was yeah. I think it's it's good for being cheap. Yep. Um, so that's that's not replacing my projector setup. That's just no. going to be the the living room. It's it's more than adequate for your purposes. It's it's above adequate. It, yes, it was too cheap not well. to get. Mm-hmm. Any games? 
Uh, probably. <laughs> you don't know. I, I bought another wind? Xbox One X <laughs> for that TV to go with that TV. Yeah, um, because I wanted nice. one for the the basement, and then I had to. I, I bought a um, a 4K Blu-ray. One of those. A player. No, the a Blu-ray disc. Oh, 4K okay. Blu-ray disc to play on my new TV. How does it look? It looked like Ready Player One. Uh, but like, was it like Ready Player <laughs> One? But like, you could really I, it, see it all looks the good. That TV. I mean, it definitely is not the best. Like, did you see Cyclops' pubic hairs? Because um, that's the kind of detail I would expect. It looks. It looks sharp. I will say. I am pleased with my purchase. Good. That's important. Yes. Um, the Roku stuff in it works well as well. I've never messed with Roku before. It plays Netflix. I don't care about any of that. I just want a good panel because I'm going to run an Xbox or a PlayStation yeah, I do. to it, I and that's going to be so. Yeah. When I see the reviews on the, some of these TVs, like especially those like TCL ones, usually like one of the negatives is you know the built-in apps aren't as good, and, and the system isn't as good as as like the the bigger name TVs. But I don't give a shit about any of that. Yeah, it seems good. I mean, I, I paid. I just want the good screen. I don't know. Four hundred uh, and something dollars. Any other for games it, so. that you bought? No. Probably. You, you, and, nobody else bought Hitman. Oh, I did buy no. Hitman. I did oh, buy I Hitman. See? Yeah. Right. It was twenty three dollars at Best Buy after GCU. I didn't feel the need to buy two games on the same day. I I bought that and I bought um. I uh, I'm embarrassed to say it, but I bought Bomberman. Why, why are you embarrassed? I don't know. Everyone says it's bad. I Who just cares? wanted it was twenty bucks. If you was, wanted it, then enjoy it. Who cares? Right. Don't listen to them. <laughs> Who are these them anyway? Who are these them? They don't know what they're talking about. They're trying to keep my Bomberman down. Exactly. I want to relive my glory college days with Bomberman. So if if you think that's embarrassing, the guy sitting next to me on the train <laughs> ride home today had his switch with him. Okay. He was okay. playing Breath of the Wild on his, uh, he had like Zelda stickers on the Switch. Good. He Great. had a Legend of Zelda case. His phone that he kept on the seat next to him had a Legend of Zelda case on the phone. Oh yeah, I and, do that same thing when I don't want anybody to sit next to me on the train. And his wallpaper had Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild wallpaper on his phone. <laughs> I think he's a fan of that game. Right. Hmm. That's pretty, that's too much. That's a little much. Speaking See, now, of things, I just I, pretend I have Tourette's instead of carrying all that stuff. I did get a new phone too. I forgot oh, that was another what, Black Friday ish sale. That was actually the Monday before, but it was their Black Friday sale. Does that count? What'd you get? I got the what is it? The XR? Is that I the don't one? No, it's your phone. Yeah, you think I know? I got the XR. We'll say that, not the, the one, top of the line, which I think is the XS. The one the with XR. the colors, the one that comes in the cool yes, colors. I got a yellow phone. I like those colors yep i got a yellow one my wife got the white one my daughter got a red one and yes my son got a no my daughter got a blue one and my son got a red one my son has a phone yes oh my god it was it wound up being twenty dollars a month cheaper to get him a phone than to not get what about the price that he's gonna pay in his developing mind did you put a price on that i turned the cellular service off on it and he only keeps it at home he's not allowed to take it to school so it's just uh, it's it's become a Fortnite device for him. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, and I also bought a PlayStation the the see through PlayStation controller because uh-huh. it was like thirty three dollars or some shit nice. at Target. And I think that was it. It's a lot of shopping. We bought no. too much crap. No, I also paid I for think... oral surgery. That was that was uh, not on sale for Black Friday. Right. Right. All right, let's do some show feedback. Sure. It's been a couple of weeks. A lot of people t- had questions about Fallout. Okay. Comments even. But I figure we'll get to that later. Yes, so, we will. Yeah. So I stuck with the stuff about the Game Awards because I don't think we're going to talk about that ever again. A lot of people are very emotional about the Game Awards. Like, exactly. Apparently. 
I like pop cans had to say, I'll just read these both in a row because they're about the same thing. Huh. I like pop cans had to say, saying you're not going to watch the game awards because you do not want to see awards proves that you don't know what the show is. <laughs> they proved, Pro- he proved us. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not even half the show is about giving awards since a lot of the time is announcements and the show is more akin to a press conference. The show since its rebranding has been much more enjoyable and I think it's a good watch. It's not a watch, it's a show. But you know what, though? What? Here's, the, here's the reason why I don't watch it. What? How many hours is that thing? I don't know. Two? No. Like not two. Four. <laughs> At least four. <laughs> At least four. At least four. Now, I may watch. When I say I'm not going to watch the Game Awards, it doesn't mean like I'm going to, as soon as any com- uh, content from that show appears on the internet, I'm going to avert my eyes. It just means I'm not going to sit down when the broadcast starts and watch it live. I'm sure there's going to be trailers from that. And, you know, some people behaving badly, <laughs> that'll, the clips that'll make it beyond just the, the live broadcast. So I don't, I don't think we have anything personally against it. It's just I'm not going to sit down and watch a four hour, you know, game show, basically. Yep. Doesn't, does that sound crazy? Is that crazy to say that? Nope. Okay. Pacmaster17 said, just wanted to chime in on your discussion about the Game Awards. I always have too many games and not not enough... I I also have too many games I want to play and not enough time. The Game Awards usually bring attention to the best games of the year and help me plan my next purchases, especially if a game went under the radar and it wouldn't have gotten attention otherwise on the big gaming sites. Although most likely the games are all ones we've heard and seen. Rarely Game Awards shows... That's enough. Too long. Too long. Something, something, something. Right. Too long. Uh, yeah. But look, the four hours you spend watching those Game Awards, you could take a bite out of your backlog. Yep. That's there what I'm go. saying. Uh, I added this Wombat because I see every, that. everybody wrote in to tell us about Wombat's uh, square-shaped poop. Do you know how many people sent me that link? A million. I, I think so. <laughs> it might be a million people. And everyone's like, hey, did you see this? Did you see, did you see this thing? <laughs> See this thing about the wombat animal poop? Wombat animals have weird poop. Do you have weird poop? I'm yes. sure. I'm yeah, sure. Like it's... shipwreck gets emails. I mean, uh, tweets like that. Whenever there's some new like emulator, retro emulator that comes out, or what I'm, else? I'm fine with that. People. Yeah. People are nice. They they send me stuff. Yeah, yeah. you want to know? You wanna I want to know. know. I hate things. people. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> you're like I don't care that this thing says wombat and is about poop. Two things right. that. Are both about me. <laughs> hey, I resemble that remark. Right. Like, I know if there's some new Robocop news out there, I'm going to get a lot of tweets about it. I'm not going to miss it. Or anything ping pong related. Or if Jeff Bezos' picture is shown on a website. <laughs> yes. It's your, your twin. Look, he looks just like you. Yes, yes. All bald white guys look exactly the same. I mean, it's not untrue. As You know... For all the people that I get compared to looking like, his is not that far fetched, I would say. No. But some of them are just ridiculous. It's like, okay, I saw, yes, I saw white you as the villain in Ant Man the other night. That was on TV. Yeah, that I don't look like him. We don't look anything alike. Mm-hmm. Eh. No? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'm a movie star. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm just I mean, it's not, it's not like it's. It's not like if someone said I'd be like, I don't know, that's crazy talk. I okay. mean Right. I'm not yeah. I'm not offended or anything. I'm just nor, nor should you be. Right. Um What was that character's name? An Ant Man? Yeah. Yellow Jacket. No, his real name. Corey Stahl? I don't know. The that's actor? The actress name. Or the character? The character. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, nobody knows. Carlton that. Banks. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Call him. <laughs> he's he's just one of the like the worst villains in any of the mm-hmm. any of the Marvel movies. But he's still Isn't fine. It cross? Isn't it Cross? It sounds like it could be. Yeah. I mean, should I look it up at this point? Oh, it's David Abrams. Oh, that's <laughs> I was a character on uh Crime Story. That old show from the 80s or 90s, rather. It's uh, yeah, he Ford. was Darren Cross. Very oh, good. Oh, wow. Cross. Look at that. Darren, Darren Cross. <laughs> and you're right. His name is Corey Stahl. Yeah. I knew he the did. actor's name. Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't know either. Oh, so watch this, bitches. 
Yeah, you watch the movies that I'm interested in hearing about. Yes, uh, the first one. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like you're just, you know. No, I'm serious. Me. I want to oh. see both these movies. One I just okay. haven't gotten around to yet, oh, okay. and one I just haven't had access to. But they're not about classic rock bands from the 60s. Well, I mean, they're not not about that. <laughs> okay, the first movie was Black Klansman. <laughs> I think that's the pr- proper pronunciation. <laughs> It's a black Klansman. Yeah, it's about um, this guy with a really bad stutter. Mm -hmm. No. It's the Spike Lee movie about the black police officer who goes undercover only on the phone to the KKK. And then when they have to have like the real meetings in person, then Adam Driver takes over. Yes. Based on a true story. Based on a true story, I thought it was really well done. I I liked seeing Adam Driver, not as Kylo Ren. That was good. Um, I hadn't seen a Spike Lee movie in forever. Like, I can't even remember the last one that I saw. I mean, 10, 15 years ago? I don't know. But I thought it was really good. It was funny. It was clever. It is topical, even though the movie takes place in the 70s, 80s, 70s. Um, they, they draw analogies to, to today and I thought like they didn't, well, I don't want to say anything about the ending. It was good. I recommend it. Me and cool. Mrs. Cheapy also enjoyed it. How about uh, that new Coen Brothers jam? Yeah. That's the, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, mm-hmm. which is a bunch of short stories in one movie. Um, and they all take place in the wild west. So if you're playing Red Dead Redemption and you want to see what a good story looks like. No, 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 no. If you want to see more cowboy stories uh, done in a very artistic and interesting way, I would recommend The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I'm, I'm disappointed that none of you guys saw it. So I can't, we can't at least say what our favorite story was. But maybe you'll watch it by next week. But It's possible. It's possible. It's good. We really liked it. Mm-hmm. And because it's, you know, just the stories are not really connected to each other, you don't need to watch it in one sitting. You know, you could just like knock off two, one or two stories at a time, whatever. It's plausible. Trying to make it work for you, Wombat. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Mm, mm. It's very kind of you. Now, what else we got here in Watch This Bitches? I watched, I know Shipwreck saw this in the theaters, but I watched the, uh, the Tomb Raider movie that came out over the summer. All right. Why? Uh, it was the Saturday night movie on HBO, and my wife and I were sitting on the couch together under a blanket, See, and the, the lights were off. And Wombat, you started. know why you when when you yell at me for not hooking up my cable box? Uh huh. This is why I don't hook up my cable box because I don't you don't like be- to enjoy quality time with your wife under a blanket on the couch in the dark. No, I'll do that anyway. But we'll watch something good. We won't we feel it. what's but that? We enjoyed it. Did you now? It's not bad. Maybe it was the company and the, yeah. and the quality time and just the the you know okay. the relaxed environment, but we we liked what we saw. It's not perfect. Okay, I haven't but, seen uh, it, so I shouldn't. You know. I shouldn't. The, it's it's it. the game, but they add that bicycle <laughs> scene, that weird okay. bicycle <laughs> race in the, yes. into it. Everything else, it's the game. Hmm. Yeah, it's like that first game that came out. What was it in twenty fifteen? Mm-hmm. The reboot. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And it's funny, you know, when she picks up like the pickaxe. <laughs> the iconic pickaxe. It's like, oh, that's the pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now that bike scene, know. though, that was they they did something with that, huh? Yes, there was some bike riding in that in that movie. <laughs> pretty Definitely long. A lot of pretty yeah. a lot of bike riding. <laughs> pretty long bike ride scene. But other than that, I mean, product it's, it's placement. Not, hmm? No, I think it was city placement. I think yeah. they were filming. That's what somebody told me at one point. Like they were filming in in the UK, and to get some like tax incentives, you had to like shoot certain locales. I guess oh. you had to have a certain number of bikes in the movie. So, I think that's what what happened there. I believe you. That's my answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> How was Ready Player One? I saw that. Cheapy, you've seen that, right? Yeah, it's fucking horrible. Um, <laughs> I couldn't tell you one thing about the movie except. It's virtual reality, and it's a lot of CG shit. Just a bunch of stuff like of I know somebody that vomited the, CG all over. That's it. the uh, HBO movie of the week in two weeks. Okay, this I, I, I is <laughs> you need 
Oh, you Ready Player One and then Rampage? No, it's Rampage then Ready Player oh, One. Oh, okay. I, I have Rampage too. I need to watch that. Um, yeah, so I read half of Ready Player One, the book, before I I exited. Um, uh-huh. So this, the movie, it's got better pacing to it, but it still seems like it's really long to me. I don't know. I, some people liked it. I didn't hate it. The movie, I did not like the book. I did not like the book at all. Um, right. The, the movie I thought is paced better. They, they clearly, they replaced the challenges from the book with more actiony challenges to get the, like the keys that they're looking for. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, like the they they I I won't say either way, but one of the ways was basically no action in the book and this this way was just a car chase basically. <laughs> uh it was like, "Oh, we can we can do a car chase here with with all your favorite cars from things that you know." Right. It I Ooh. I like going into it, I expected it to like lean even more into the pop culture stuff. Like it was, it was there, but it, it wasn't like hitting me in the face as much as the book did with just like the list type thing. Right. Um, I think because there, there's so much of it and you're just like sort of flying over like just vast wastelands of eighties characters. Like you can't even see what's, you can't even know what's going on. You can't, you can't even process all of it. It's just like, oh my God, there's everything. I think, I think in 4k you can and 4K again. Yeah, but no, it's it's true. It's it's crazy. Like it's like, hey, that was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for two seconds on screen. Like, wh- right? Why did that just like that's weird? Um, and then like, they don't like even like you're you're happy when somebody like shows up for multiple scenes because you're like, yeah, I did see that. I can confirm that I saw Master Chief before. He's back. Yeah. Um. I don't, yeah, it, I don't like it's it. just an oddly like I still think there's like a good story and a movie there but the they could never like wrestle it to the ground I guess um but Mrs. Shipwreck and I watched the whole thing yeah she she great. thought the like the real world stuff was much better than the the CG stuff it was more interesting mm. all right so okay ready player one Coming to a yeah. wombat near you. <laughs> what else we got here, wombat? Arrow, just, is this from last week? Arrow. Or? I just wanted is to this bring from up last year, that, two years I, ago. N- no, uh, this is what I was going to say. I've been watching in here, hit and miss. I've been watching the season of Arrow. Not every episode, like every other episode or so, just because it's on sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I watched this week's episode. And this week's episode was <clears throat> surprisingly good. Like, even if you don't know anything about the show, this week's episode is the only one I would recommend watching. It's just basically kung fu fighting for 45 minutes mm. and stabbing. And there's no side plots. Felicity does not have a line in the episode, and she only shows up for about 10 seconds at the end. Oh, she's still on the show? She's still on the show. Again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's just a Green Arrow. And Bronze Tiger, played by Michael J. White, and they're in prison, and they have to fight a bunch of dudes. Like, you don't even need to know. It's basically, they ripped off the raid. <laughs> good. For, That's a good uh, thing to rip off. Yeah, for like 45 minutes. Like, there's no cutaways to, like, someone in the DA's office going, we gotta get him out of there. Like, stripped it away. <laughs> right. And there's not even that much dialogue other than... Then uh, Oliver Queen be like, you don't understand. He's going to kill you all if you don't let me out of here. And then, of course, he breaks out and beats the crap out of everybody. And it's really, it's an interesting watch. Again, I don't recommend watching any episode from last year or even any of the other episodes from this season. But watch this one episode. It's 45 minutes. If you hate it, you could say, no, that was that was a waste of my time. But I think this, this week's Arrow is worth watching. That's what about it. Titans? No is that more. still good? Mm-hmm. Is Titans still good? Titans is all right. I watched this. I'm I'm up to date on that. Uh, I chatted with Christian Spicer about uh, the Jason Todd episode, and we both agree they do a really good job with how they handle Jason Todd, oh. who is historically not a likable Robin. 
and they do a good job of making him toe that line between being likable and not likable because that's what the character is supposed to be. And they do an interesting job with that. And I'm curious to see where they go with it. And this week's episode was had some pretty gross moments. So, you know, be warned. There's some Howard gross Stern moments. was talking about it. He said he likes it. See? Howard mm-hmm. Stern and I have the same <coughs> taste in uh, crappy TV. He has horrible taste, by the way. I know. I said we have the same taste <laughs> in horrible television. Um, M.H. Coville writes in to let us know that YouTube is going to make their original programming free. So you'll be able to watch Cobra Kai easily. And freely. Excellent. No more excuses. Can't wait to disappoint you. I know. You will. All right. Some uh, quick shopping news, and then we'll do the new releases. We'll talk. I think we're going to be talking about Fallout 76 later, Wombat, because you've been playing it, right? Wombat? Fallout? Yes. Not Yeah. But did you see this this news item about people who ordered the $200 Fallout edition? Yep. That is some... That is some bullshit. <laughs> the original uh, marketing for it showed, you know, all the contents that it comes with for your two hundred dollars, including a, a canvas bag. But the reality is, it just shipped with like a, a, a cheap uh, nylon bag, I guess, mm-hmm. plasticky mm-hmm. bag. And people are like, wait, I gave you two hundred dollars, and that's not what the, was it was on the picture. And then somebody wrote into Bethesda. <clears throat> and they said, like, what are you going to do about it? And they said, you know, nothing. I'm not planning on doing anything about it. Perfect. So, <laughs> so somebody joked on Twitter. They said, oh, wow, even the, uh, even the, uh, <laughs> the throw-in items have bugs. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I, that's not a bug, though. That's like a I completely know. different thing. Like, it, it's, if you advertise a nice canvas bag... And you send out a nylon bag, that's not the same thing. Is canvas though like considered like a premium material? Yes. Like, like in that in that like in that bag format, like it doesn't yeah. look that fancy in the picture. Yeah, it's, no, it's it is. Durable. It's supposed, yeah, okay. it's, a, it's durable. It lasts longer. It has sure. that kind of military look and the, feel the to it. The zipper isn't going to just like rip out of it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. It probably won't get a hole poked through it from like just a, for, having a from pen. A pen. In there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The other no, one's closer to a garbage bag, I guess. That's some legitimate bullshit right there. <laughs> they should be embarrassed. They should be. Oh, it's had a West. It's oh, it actually was supposed to be a brand name. West West Tech is that a real brand? I'm guessing that's a Fallout brand. I, I, I think was that, that was a Fallout, fallout thing? Yeah, oh, it's Fallout it's, brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know much about outdoorsy uh, brands, but. Um, so yeah, that, that is pretty shitty. We'll be talking about some uh, Fallout, <laughs> Fallout hijinks later. Uh, but let's do the new releases. Sure, there's not that many. There's some for the Switch. There's a lot. Yep, <laughs> so fucking many for the Switch. Don't worry. So Dark Siders right. three is out. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Great time. How's that? Great I heard the re- the game. reviews have been mixed. Okay. Mm-hmm. By mixed, I mean not particularly good. But I was being like nice. Like what? Reason. Metacritic. Let's see. Kind of, kind of stealthily came out there. I did not even realize it was this close. Sixty-five dollars. Nope. Score on Metacritic. Hmm. That's that's disappointing. After the first two games were really good. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I don't uh, know. I'm sure they would send you a code if you wanted one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's. Well, but you got a lot of games. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good on games at the moment. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, they actually emailed me asking me, and I and I politely. Uh, you said you just ignore them. You didn't write back and say no, thank you. No, I didn't right? write back and say no, thank you. I just <laughs> that would be uh, awesome. I politely filed. That's the move. Yeah, no. that's the move. I don't, I'm not thank a jerk. You. I just <laughs> I'm not a jerk about it. I just don't. I knew I wouldn't have time, so I didn't. I didn't ask. I didn't reply. Right. No, that's appropriate. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, yes. Dad. We like, you know, we're always judging you, Wombat. So I know. I, when you do a good job, I think we should tell you that you do a good job. Otherwise, Thank it you. seems very one sided if we're just always telling you you're doing a bad job. Mm hmm. I can see if you're going to do a good job it's, finding uh, these fake Switch games. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's get to it. This is the only reason why I do the show anymore. <laughs> okay. Now, 
I'll just leave you. There's some, I don't know. I, no comment. Go ahead. There's a few. There's, there, I don't know how many there are. I'll count it them. It looks like you, there's about you... 25 fake ones. <laughs> I mean, is it that there's two games with BB in it? BB and Tina and BB Blocksburg? Or is one of those fake? I, oh, is this a guess yes. coming in? Uh, no, those are both real. And I actually don't know if they have any relation with one another. One is BB and Tina Adventures with Horses. And there's BB Blocksburg Big Broom Race 3. If they're not related, that seems like some weird... That's just too weird. Right. Uh, uh, what you, about Gem Crash? Big Broom Race 1 or 2? No, I haven't even heard of it. Gem Crash? Gem Crash? No, no that's a real game. It's $4. <laughs> Oops, I ate too much? That's not a real game. Yeah! It sounds like a pretty good... It does sound like a good game. What about yep. Battery it's, Jam? Battery Jam, that's a real game. <laughs> and it's $15. <laughs> jam. Jam. That's like, you know, they ain't no jam like a battery jam. <laughs> Wake up, Whitey. Uh, have... <laughs> is, that, is that possibly a fake one? <laughs> <laughs> that might be a fake game. You know, that's a fake game. <laughs> what about, what about the... Oh, I never, I, yeah, I had, I didn't get to that one. I'm not reading that one. I was halfway one. through that. I, I got called away. <laughs> Um, oh, please tell me this is this isn't a fake game because I what? Special Olympics 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? If there's more title, what was that? <laughs> I'm not reading that. Boy, what's wrong with that? <laughs> that could be a real game. <laughs> well, it's not that. What? It's, now you have to read it. People are going to think it's really offensive. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? <laughs> well, everybody's gone. Ship, are you still there? <laughs> no, I lost everybody. It's not that bad. It's 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 a fake game. Okay. <laughs> it's a fake game, but it's it's Special Olympics 2018 colon different, but also good. Now, the, what's what's wrong about that? That could be a good game. I think it's because it's only listed as nine ninety nine. That was, too, that was too cheap. Me. Yeah, the price is low. <laughs> <laughs> to get that license, I snorted first of all, and also that is so wildly offensive. Yeah. Why? What's what, I, why is that offensive? Who is that oh, offensive is. to? I. Oh. Uh, I've I'm I've been to the special Olympics. Now. There you oh, go. You good. made me cry. We did it. Good. We did it. We did it. Um, Thank you. I'm good. I'm glad oh I got out of bed goodness. today. My Asian girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a That's fake That's a fake game. one. Good. I was worried about that one actually being real. <laughs> <laughs> you might. Oh, no. There's one more. Is there really another one? Teddy the Wanderer no. kayaking. <laughs> no, that's, that's a real, real game. game. Oh, great. Why is he wandering and uh, kayaking? <laughs> um, Jeez. Those are different words. Trash masters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, That's fake. fake. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Great. I don't know. The trash is in now. There's still those grocery I, grocery. It could games. be a game. Yeah. Hmm. It's it's no less ridiculous than like Special Waku Waku Olympics Sweets. 2018. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get different, in so much trouble for that one. Different but also good. Different but also good. It is. What is what is not factual in that statement? In that game title. Nothing. It's not even a, a question <laughs> up for opinion. It's, it's a good... It's different, but also good. Right. It's, yeah. You can't argue. Are you saying it's not no. all different, but also no, good? I, okay. <laughs> I, I good. think it's all I think, factual, I feel like, but there's yeah. just not a lot of colons with then a word, then a comma after them in, in game names. I think that's what, sure, that's well, what got me. Special. Oh, that hurt. That hurt my surgery. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Score. So, coloring book was a real release this week. Yes. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, there's some good games on there. Party Hard came out for the Switch. That's a good game. That is a good there's, game. There's some I real like games, game. and um, uh, the Horizon Chase Turbo, I think, is pretty decent. And so is uh, Midhawk Two. Yeah. That's also a quality game. That's what we're talking about right now. Mm-hmm. Battery Jam. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else for new releases? Nope. For the 3DS. Oh, man. Japanese Rail Sim 3D, five types of trains. Shit, that sounds pretty good, actually. I'm looking that up right now. 
There's that uh, one rail simulator for the PC. I don't know what it's called, but they sent me an email saying that the Long Island Railroad was coming. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Can't think. You can't imagine anything more boring than like yeah. looking out the window of the Long Island Railroad. <laughs> Here it is. I'm looking at Japanese Rail Sim 3D. Oh. It's kind of... Could we get Wombat like, a gaming uh, laptop so he could play that game while he's on that train every day? On the train, <laughs> please. <laughs> And can you put stickers on the laptop of the Long Island Railroad? <laughs> like conductors, like conductors and, and also get and a can... phone case that says Long Island Railroad on it. Yeah, yeah, totally. And mm-hmm. you can ask the conductors to sign your laptop. Mm-hmm. We need to get a GoFundMe for this. We have a show you know in Japan that. that's like a thing that people do. There's like train nerds, and they I mean I, I have that. I went to college with someone that's a, an American train nerd, so I understand. Oh. So oh. it's a so thing can... in this country too. So you've received formal training, is what you're saying. Uh, 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 I've been to at least two train museums in my lifetime. <laughs> Shit, I've been to at least that many. I've seen <laughs> at least 15 Thomas episodes this week. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really useful engines, yeah. those, those guys are. And girls. Mm. There's girl trains as well. What about the Japanese train with the really Hero. good accent? Yeah. Yep. Really, a f- He's got a good accent. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it for the new releases, I think. Yep. All right, let's move on to multi-platforming and Wombat's Overwatch Onslaught. Sounds good. There's, uh, there's some more uh, loot box news. Oh, it's the been FTC a while. The FTC is, what's that? It's been a while. It's been a while. There's been a little, a little break, but, uh, there's been too much money being made from the loot boxes. So the FTC has pledged to, to look into it and to, inve- and to investigate the the statement from the ESA, well, I'm, I don't know if you had a chance to, to read this, but I'm going to read it to everybody right now. It's pretty much like you can go through each set and each line and just say no to it. It's pretty fantastic. Here's the, here's the state, official statement from the ESA on loot boxes. Loot boxes are one way that players can enhance the experience that video games offer. Contrary to assertions, loot boxes are not gambling. They have no real-world value. Players always receive something that enhances their experience, and they are entirely optional to purchase. They can enhance the experience for those who choose to use them, but have no impact on those who do not. That's not true. Every sentence is is fake. Okay, Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, yes, loot boxes are one way that players can enhance the experience that video games offer. First of all, I don't know that loot boxes enhance the experience. When you get shit you don't like or want, I don't think anyone is feeling like the experience has been enhanced. Yeah, you can. know what it is? It says it, can. They're, they've covered themselves in that sentence. It can enhance no. the experience. Well, no, we, we have a sentence where it says players always receive something that enhances their experience. And here's the it's thing. It's a different sentence. You, if you're okay. <laughs> okay, they can enhance the experience for those who choose to use them, but have no impact on those who do not. But those who do not, by what you're saying, their game, they are not getting an enhanced version of that game. So right. it does impact you because yes. your game is less enhanced than the person who purchases those loot boxes. So yes. which is it? Do they yes. enhance the experience, that's, that's exactly what or I'm do they about. have I mean, no impact on those who do not buy them? It's not. It can't be both. It can't be both. And oh, here's another thing that can't be both. It says, they have no real world value. Players always receive something that enhances their experience. If they have no real world value, you're selling them for money, which has real world, real world value. value. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I can't resell them. It doesn't mean that they have no real world value. If you just you, took my $5. If you were able to sell, let's say you unlocked uh, a, an in-demand skin for Overwatch and you were able to sell it, the real world value to that skin that you randomly unlocked to sell to someone who didn't have to buy a loot box to randomly get it mm-hmm. would probably be in the hundreds or thousands of dollars for certain skins. So, right. that, they, they, the reason they have no real world value is because you said it that way. It's because yeah. the game maker said it that way. But if you were allowed to sell it, the real world value in certain for certain items in certain games would be, and we've seen it, you know, in games where they had marketplaces and some games that still do. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's crazy. you know what it is? It's, it's real world value is just, oh, those words really don't mean much when you're talking about loot boxes. If you can buy it with money, I think that meets the definition that that object has real world value. 
if you're selling it <laughs> and people are buying it, you've proved that these loot boxes have real world value. And the items in them have value and the and just the the uh the chance to obtain that item has value. Yeah, I mean it's just because I can't resell it doesn't mean it doesn't have value. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird. It's a very it's a horrible statement. I think when the FTC investigates it, they're going to look at this statement and be able to go through it just like we did and say, no, this is false. This is false. And I don't know. This is the same FTC that uh, with the isn't this like Reese's peanut butter cup guy? Is the guy who pulled the net neutrality? Isn't it the same? same? Oh, is it? I mean, I assume it's not like they changed hands. Right. Right. I don't, you know, that guy's kind of an idiot. So well, nothing seems to happen, really. Like, you know, didn't didn't they investigate that. those uh, Counter Strike Go gambling sites? And they, they those are that was actual. That was just like this, but those items have quote unquote real world value in the way that they're using those words, uh, and that you can resell them. And these guys got caught promoting their own gambling service that they that they were you know didn't disclose that they had a stake in. And they got a slap on the wrist. They didn't really get... I don't think anything happened to them. So I'm going to guess that nothing much is going to happen. But that statement is fucked up. <laughs> That's laughable. Almost as laughable as the Summer Olympics 2018. Different but sure. also good. Let's talk about some games that we've been playing. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of games because we mm-hmm. have too many. I'm curious to hear how your Assassin's Creed Odyssey is going. I only played it on Monday. I didn't have a chance uh, to play it yesterday. Not I much of an to, odyssey. To, I don't know. My son had things to do. Um, but uh, I enjoyed the two and a half hours I played of it so far. Um, I see that uh, K- Koch Comics asked what has better horses, <laughs> Origins or Red Dead Redemption 2, and it's Origins has better horses. Better odyssey. horse controls. He wrote Origins. Play a lot, but, to yeah. be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're kind of dumbed down, so I kind of enjoy that. I like the loot system. I did get my free uh from Twitch. I got the a free set of armor, but I already let but I leveled out of that armor fairly quickly, which isn't a bad thing. It was kind of cool to have uh you know a fun starting set, but to to quickly find new get new gear. It seems a little more action oriented than probably the last Assassin's Creed I played. It's a lot of fighting. Yeah, it seems like it's a little less. Sneaky, sneaky, and a little more stabby, stabby. Is that yes. accurate? That is pretty accurate, I would say. You get to be, mm-hmm. you know, I played, I'm 30 hours in, so I'm like pretty far in. Um, you get to be just very strong, and you can go into places and just clear out, <laughs> you know, 15, 20 guys. Um, some cases you do want to be sneaky, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of action in this game. And since you're comparing it to Red Dead with the horses, there's just – you're not there yet, Wombat, but eventually there's just so many missions and things that it's almost overwhelming. And that compared to Red Dead where you sort of have to rely on random encounters maybe to keep things industry, uh, in, uh, ver- you know, uh, interesting and to have variety because it's not that many missions available at any given time. Um, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to hear how how you like the game when you get further in because I find the story is really good too. And did you take the uh, the guy or the girl? Oh, I took the guy. Oh, the girl is awesome. The woman is awesome. I'm sure she is, the, but I took I the guy the because guy is, I don't know because I'm sexist. I, don't know. <laughs> I wasn't wasn't saying that. So soon. All right, let's. I want to. Have you been playing more Red Dead at least? Not really. I haven't played it in a while. I wanted to play Red Dead Online, but like I said last night, I had uh, to deal with some kids' stuff, so it just didn't happen, as sure. as is life. Did you play any online? I, I tried the online today. You know, it's like a whole separate thing, a whole separate story. and Yes, yeah, so the same thing with Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, I feel like you're going to want to finish the single player first, maybe. Like if you're yeah. serious about finishing the single player, like if you have any, did you like, did you finish the single player yet? No, 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 no. I'm like I'm chapter four. Um, I have no idea how many chapters there are, so I don't know where that puts me. But I've, <clears throat> I don't know. I just feel like now I got two different Red Dead things going. I got like my weird looking multiplayer guy who's like not really what I wanted him to look like, but I don't know. All the options seem bad. 
like he was not going to look like a cool cool dude from uh Deadwood or I don't know Tombstone <laughs> just going to look like a scrub basically uh so I don't know I don't know about playing those side by side but I haven't played very much um but I am I am enjoying the single player so <laughs> I'm going to finish it I'm going to finish Assassin's Creed and I'm going to finish Red Dead two gigantic games that I will that I will promise Sounds good. How's Fallout going? I played a lot of Fallout over the weekend. Probably, I'm, I'm about I know, four hours a- in as well. So, oh, nice. Yep. I am up to I'm level sixteen is where where I'm at. Wow. So, whatever that means, however long I played to get to level sixteen, um, I I mean it's weird because I get all the criticisms and I have a lot myself. I mean, there is still part of me that would prefer if it was, you know, just a standard Fallout game with it's not it being that, single. It's not that. Huh? It's not that. But it's, it's a different game. It's not that. It's Again, I, I, I get that. Yeah. I, obviously, I'm still playing it. Mm-hmm. There are certain things that I don't quite understand why they did the way they did. Nobody knows. Um, yeah. I talked last week about the uh, the outfits. And yes, you can find most of the ones that are available in the store in the world. Not all of them, but I guess most of them. They're usually on shelves and like folded up. You don't like, you don't usually pick them off of people. Some of them are quest items too. And they're just basically skins. I mean, you do find armor pieces occasionally from sure. bad guys. Yep. But it's it's not like killing a raider where you could take all their clothes off them when they're dead. And if you see a dead raider on the ground, because there are no living bad guys in this game that are humans, if you see a dead raider on the ground and he's wearing a full set of leather armor, you still can't take that full set of leather armor off of that dead raider on the ground. So that does kind of bother me a little bit because it's like, because I see it and I'm like, I want to wear what that corpse is wearing. Why can't I do that? Because it's just because there's that part of me, and again, I know it's a different game, but I see it, and I've done it, you know, in three other games. It's kind of weird. I also think it's weird that you know, in Fallout Four, when you wanted to repair your weapons or your armor, if you had two of the same thing, you could combine them to kind of fix it. You know, it's like a dumbed down version of the repairing, without having to find like seven pieces of something in the world. Um, and they took that out. And what bothers me about that is like, if I have a 10 millimeter pistol or two 10 millimeter pistols, the parts I need to fix that one of my 10 miller, 10 millimeter pistols will not be in that other 10 millimeter pistol. So dismantling it doesn't help me. It just seems unnecessarily complicated to fix weapons at least to me. I'm sure there are some people and they really enjoy the concept of wandering the world and picking up as much duct tape and glue as they can find. (laughs) That's me. That's me. (laughs) Yeah. But it's, that's just not what I like to do. I liked it better when you had the option to pick up as much glue and duct tape as you want, or just take two guns and combine them together. If you don't, if that's just not your, your speed. And that I think to me is the biggest is probably my biggest complaint about the game. It's not that it's not a standard Fallout game. I just feel like they took out some of the options that they didn't need to do. It's it's great to make a new game that enhances your experience, but when you're taking things away from the previous game, I I think that's kind of where you lose me. I don't know. That's just me. The the reason I've only played four hours of it is because I, I ordered a second copy of it. Oh my god, you're part of the problem. I, I'm yes. <clears throat> Didn't you read the letter? I I read the letter. I read the apology. I Oh, there were two letters. I forgot. Yeah, there's Yeah, a, they sent the apology letter this week. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even read that they one. They do need to fix that storage space issue. They do. The storage space is 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 a problem. Um like like I told you guys offline, I, I I would be even more of a problem and and pay ten dollars to just have unlimited storage space. Um that I that's I don't understand why that's a thing in in games so much like this because you there's just so much stuff you can pick up that there's no reason why I wouldn't do that other than they're limiting me for no reason. 
Um, it's not. It's not like I'm just like stripping the world clean of everything. <laughs> You're ruining the game for everybody, right? It's. It just means I can't like go around and explore as much as I would like to because now I have to know that I'm going to be over encumbered and my storage bin is going to be full and then I'm going to have to like spend time getting rid of broken cups and stuff when maybe just let me collect as many broken cups as I want. Um, it's just a number in a spreadsheet. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, Mrs. Shipwreck's going to, we're going to play this together. It's a pretty good co-op game. <laughs> Damn. Wombat, are you going to get another copy? Wombat's gone. He he just went to go get another copy. <laughs> All right, let's just keep plowing ahead. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. No, I heard, but, now I can hear you guys again. Okay. Just announce that every yeah. time you come back. Uh, <laughs> every time you can hear us, just announce it. <laughs> just, just keep clapping your hands <laughs> while we're talking. I'm like, it's it's a, I, I feel bad, but I don't know what else I could do. I, it, it, we're nothing. far enough along and it's fine. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So I, I busted out the PlayStation VR. Mm-hmm. Because I heard you I was hear- every, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this game. Is it the best game of the year? Astrobot Rescue Mission? Yes. That's a made up game. Yeah, I was hearing a lot of good that's, things that's about not a it. Real and it was on- game. <laughs> it's a real game. Did not make that up. Yeah, the title maybe isn't the greatest, but I will say it's a really cool platformer. And as I know, Shipwreck, you you are you love platformers. I do. You love great platformers. I do. Even crappy ones. I'm I'm down for it. Even crappy ones. And this one is so unique. I mean, it's it's familiar in a way, in that, okay, it's a you know, it's a 3D platformer. You're controlling <clears throat> A, a guy who jumps and is picking up coins. So that part is obviously not very unique. It's familiar. Um, but you're, the way you control the guy is you're actually in the game, you're a robot. And you see your, you basically see the PlayStation controller floating in front of you and you're controlling that little Astrobot. I don't know if you've seen the picture before. Um, and you, as a robot controlling him, you're moving through the game world with him. And in certain situations, you're going to have to move yourself so you can see around objects. You're going to have to look behind you and move the guy behind you. You're going to have to to control him while he's above you. And, you know, you're you're a rescue bot. So you're basically just, you know, finding other robots to rescue. You're you're picking up coins and rescuing robots. Um, But it's just the perspective that it brings is very unique and the... The atmosphere is is pretty delightful. It's hard not to smile and laugh while you're playing the game. The music is great. I want, I've finished the first two worlds. Um, I don't know how many worlds there are. Um, I don't know. It's just like super well done. It's like a type of game that should have been in the box with the headset when it came out. And people would have been fucking flipping out. Awesome. I'm glad that I got to hear every word of that. <laughs> you've convinced wombat that it's time to jump in on the psvr i mean for you ship like i don't want to say like you should spend 200 i don't know how much it's costing now it's $200. After, uh, you, you know cheapy christmas is coming up and if you really feel strongly that nah, you should play it yeah, you know where dreaming. he lives he can he can afford his own psvr that's not the point he's it's buying not, a second pop copy a, of fallout it's about the joy of giving <laughs> yeah He's basically willing to burn money by buying another copy. Of I will get. Hey. I will get hours and hours of enjoyment out of that. I guarantee you uh, that will. game's going to be great by this time next year. Right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm 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 really into Astrobot. I'm hoping I'm going to finish that one too. I'll just play it when I come to your house next summer. <coughs> Perfect. Right. Problem solved. Because I, I still I just don't want that thing in my house. Yeah, I, I get it. It's annoying. Like. And you have to basically, if you're using your PlayStation, or if you have one PlayStation that's dedicated to VR, like in some room somewhere, fine, it's fucking great. But if you're gonna, if you have one PlayStation and you're gonna be on, you know, you're gonna be playing regular PlayStation games, also, you're not gonna keep this thing hooked up because it like it diminishes the something with the PlayStation. It doesn't put the the surround sound out. Probably other things are bad too. You're gonna want to unhook it. When you're not using the VR, and it yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But the game Astrobot is delight is a delight. Um, 
Yeah. I'm excited for you to play it when you come. Cool. You know, we are, we I are can, already I, booked. I can for, go to your um, house sooner, but I'm not invited. You can. You're invited. Am I? In fact, in fact, uh, Ty said to me the other day, he was like, when are the wombats going to come over? He just wants to he just wants to hang out with Sabrina. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got to set something up. I know. That's fine. Um, oh, we can play Bomberman. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, PlayStation Classic reviews are out, and apparently it's getting panned. I didn't care enough about it to read any of the reviews, but I saw, uh, excuse me, I saw that the uh, people didn't like the 50, the 50 hertz versions. Yeah, like for some reason the they PAL threw versions. the PAL versions of some of the games on here. What does that mean? Because I honestly have no idea, and I don't really care, but I figured, you know, you can tell me. Uh, so that's that's the refresh rate. So instead of the 60 hertz that is here in uh, North America, they're at 10 hertz less, the 50 hertz. So everything uh, plays slower and responds worse. Hmm, that's not good. <laughs> Perfect. Right. I, I hurt myself today to see if I would PlayStation. Why would they? Is there any reason that they would choose that version over the the North American version? They hate us. Does it work better? I mean, those those things don't really exist anymore, right? Like those TVs are pretty much universal now. No. Uh yeah, like, I think that's that's true now that uh, this doesn't benefit the European audience today. I'm assuming. No, <laughs> no, this. Um, no, right. I don't know if Sony has come out with a statement on this or not. They should put out a letter. Um, but it's it's a really weird choice, and I think they probably just did a bad job. Is my guess. Hmm. Okay. Um, bad job, everyone. Yeah, it's so it would have been better. Like, so this is- why 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 is it a hundred dollars? If yeah, that was the thing I was going to get get at. That seemed to be. In the one review that I sort of glanced through, they're like, there's just not a lot of value here for $100. Would they have been better off just putting out like a PlayStation that didn't play any games, but maybe had like cup holders built into it and it was like $30 and like maybe it has lights too? People would buy that, wouldn't they? Oh, wow, well, that's gone. I don't, I don't, or he's ordering maybe, one. Maybe, yeah, I don't. It's just an odd product that they know that they can sell because of Christmas and it's hundred dollars. I'm curious. I'm, I wonder how, how well it will do. A lot of options out there. Yeah, there, there are a lot of options. I have one on pre-order from when they announced them, but I don't, I don't know. This is, this is looking pretty grim. Right. You didn't need it anyway. No, I have all the games except for Rainbow Six. Right, 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 right. That's what I'm saying. Shouldn't they just made some like a uh, beverage warmer? It'd been good. It's cute. That would... It's cute. That's what it has going for it. Is that right? But a, a cup, a cup holders could be cute too. You don't need. I don't think you need to play the games. I don't think that's a, like a big selling point for this. Who's looking for these games? Not me. Not Wombat. I'm everyone's audience. Yeah. I'm that's the key target demo for all of your needs. Uh, let's move on to Nintendo real quick. Uh, at Darwin Loves Devo writes in and asks if any of us are thinking about Smash Brothers for the Switch. Well, now I'm thinking about it because you said it. I'm not going to buy I think it. You meant, are we thinking about purchasing it? No, I am. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll like it too. No, I, I, I mean, it had a ten dollar reward certificate with it at, no, at well, Best Buy. So, oh, I don't think I did though. Hmm. I can't remember. I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I care about it. I did buy the Pokemon game for Ty for Hanukkah. Nice. Cool. Let's go Pikachu. Mm-hmm. With the ball. I went Ooh, for the ball. You went all in on the ball edition. Well, I get GCU with the ball edition, so. My kids got phones. <laughs> right. They're done. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sure Ty will like that. Yes. It, it, I, it, I looks, think. it looks very cute. Yeah. It's supposed to be pretty decent. He's also getting that Fortnite um, deep freeze bundle. Okay. Yep. That's like the the box with the code in it mm-hmm. <laughs> for V bucks and I don't know, Naruto manga. Cool. 
pretty exciting. Got some fun stuff. Uh, we got a knock one cag, hockey but... table in my house. That's what they're getting there Dude, that they don't know about yet. I like knock hockey. I'm going to come over and kick everyone's ass. I think you should. I, my, I think my kids will enjoy it. And it was super cheap on that day of the, the Target toy sale. Uh, whatever it was, twenty percent off all toys or something like that. Mm. It was like thirty two dollars for name brand knock hockey table full size. That, that's a good price for not. I, I wasn't I'm not really up on the prices of knock hockey. I tables. I saw it range anywhere from forty five to sixty. Huh. Wow, so, that sounds like a racket. Yeah, I'm like you know it's what? A lot of money. I'll I'll, I'll splurge and get them a knock <sighs> hockey table because it, it'd also be like a it's a joint gift. So we like those. This Wait, you getting them joints too? They get joints with it. Yeah, it keeps them relaxed nice. and playing games. It, they, it does go well with knock hockey. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played right, knock hockey. Go. We had a carom. Really? We had a carom board growing up, but it's the same sl- thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the same thing. Carom makes knock hockey. It's actually knock hockey is their trademark, I believe. But a and carom board okay. has like a whole cut. But it's got like. That's oh, the sides like, and and a whole yeah bunch no of no games. this is just knock hockey yeah but it is made by Karam. They make the Damn. name brand table. We don't we don't buy knockoff brands. Get it knockoff? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm clever. Good. Mm-hmm. I wish Wombat's audio would cut out again. <laughs> All right, let's do this one cag bag question. Sure. And then we can go to bed. This is from young uh, excuse me younger Wombat. He asks for our favorite holiday movies. Mm. Uh, I think a, a Christmas ca- uh, story is probably like the best one. That is a holiday movie. I'm not a, actually a huge fan best. of that movie, but I'm glad what? that you like it. I'm not a huge fan of that movie. I don't know. It's just it's not for me. I'm glad you like it. I have nothing against Gremlins. You. <laughs> sure, Gremlins. Elf. That's all. Elf is a decent movie. I like Elf. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty much down with any of the holiday movies. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, Chris, Christmas Vacation's great. Yep. Um, it's hard to make really great bad. Might ones. be a strong word. No, Christmas Vacation's fantastic. Scrooged, Scrooge, Scrooge is, is great. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm looking up Christmas Vacation Rotten Tomato score. Okay. It, it's probably like a hundred percent. <laughs> it's actually a lot higher than I thought. It's, it's, it's a really good movie. I like Christmas oh, Vacation. Uh, I actually, yeah, I stand by right. shipwreck on this one. Uh, Christmas okay. Vacation is not bad. It's better than European uh, Vacation. Well, anything is better sure. than that. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> the only good scene is that is, is yeah, the Big Ben scene. That's the only mm-hmm. like, right. funny Big scene ben in that Parliament. whole movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't get left. <laughs> <All right. laughs> let's uh, let's say night, I think. Let's let's. Uh, Tell everybody to watch us next. Watch us. <laughs> Don't watch, watch us. us. On your, if you're watching us, watch we got us. a problem. <laughs> Use Listen the app. To us. Watch us. Yes. Listen to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow us on Twitter at TVD. I knew I'm at, at Shipwreck at Video Game Deals. And I think that's it. I think you can just watch us next week. <laughs> Bread's done, which is also good. But different. So I know you've been playing some of this, right, Wombat? Yes, I started playing. I played about two and a half hours yesterday. I played about another hour, maybe even an hour and a half today. They just sent you this unasked? Pretty much. I started chatting with their new community manager. Uh, uh, we be, un- we be unasked. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty much unasked. <laughs> pretty much. It came up with conversation. Uh huh. So why did why did you start chatting with, with this person? Actually, uh. I'll, if you must, though, he sent a tweet out saying that if you're a content creator, hit me up because he was fairly, he's fairly new and he wanted to know who oh, was out oh, there. Okay. So, so Pretty I much asked, <laughs> introduced myself to him. Uh huh. 
Yeah. 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 Just happened to be like right around when when this. Game oh my was goodness! I'm out. sorry. I'm sorry that I do this. No for one's... this show. No. I don't know. I'll stop. I'll stop. No, no. I just, managers. I just think it's <laughs> funny work that... for publishers to talk so we could talk about this game today on the week that it comes out. If you'd rather me stop doing that and make our show completely irrelevant, <laughs> I'm happy to do that. Should we talk about Hello Fresh some more? <laughs> pretty, pretty Seriously, much. On that. Let's pretty talk much on about that. the tilapia a little bit more. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> Where would everybody go?